the joy of music. My name is Diane Bish and I would like to invite you to join us today for a musical visit to Toronto with music from St. James Cathedral with my special guests the Cathedral Choir of Gentlemen and Boys under the direction of Dr. Giles Bryant, organist and master of the choirs. Thank you for joining us. Metropolitan Toronto is Canada's largest city and is the number one visitor destination in the country. Exciting, vibrant, and cosmopolitan, it is also Canada's cultural and financial centre. Toronto is Huron for meeting place, a word which aptly describes one of the most ethnically diverse cities in the world. With over 80 different cultures represented in its population, of over 3.5 million people. destined for the ever-popular Toronto Islands. On these islands can be found an amusement park, beaches, paddle boats, and places to relax and enjoy. The islands are the best place to see the spectacular skyline of Toronto.
As the oldest Christian congregation in the city of Toronto, the Cathedral Church of St. James has had a long and eventful history. This building itself, opened in 1853, was completed in 1874 with the topping off of the spire which reaches 324 feet into the sky, making it the tallest church spire in Canada. Over the years, St. James Church has been a spiritual leader and inspiration to the citizens of Toronto. As the cathedral celebrates its bicentennial, it continues to welcome visitors from around the world in its worship and praise of God.
It is my pleasure to welcome to the Joy of Music today the St. James Cathedral Choir under the direction of Dr. Giles Bryant. The choir consists of 18 singing boys and 12 men, which can be heard often on television, recording, and in concerts. But its main function is to sing weekly for two Sunday services throughout the year and for special occasions in the cathedral.
The music today on the program is coming to you from a live performance held at the St. James Cathedral in Toronto. The organ of the Cathedral Church was built by the Casavant Organ Company of Canada and dates back respectively to 1863 and 1888. With its four manuals, almost 5,000 pipes and 67 stops, the organ is widely acclaimed both for its sound and performance and is frequently in demand for recordings and concert. It is truly one of the great organs of Toronto. is not only a city of magnificent buildings, both old and new, but also a city of over 400 parks. One of the most beautiful is next to the Cathedral of St. James. It is known as St. James Park, a place of peace and tranquility in the middle of a bustling city. A poem written by Dorothy Frances Gurney describes so well this park and all other beautiful gardens. The kiss of the sun for pardon, the song of the birds for mirth. One is nearer to God in a garden than anywhere else on earth.
On the brow of a hill overlooking Toronto, the striking silhouette of a castle dominates the skyline. Casa Loma, as it is called. Both formal and informal gardens adorn the beautifully landscaped grounds, beckoning visitors a stroll through this splendid estate. At every turn, the senses are delighted by dancing fountains, unusual sculpture, and the dazzling, ever-changing colors of a Canadian garden. Hall, one of the outstanding concert halls in all of North America. It was my pleasure several years ago to play a concert in the hall on its magnificent organ. A most interesting concert, it was held in the middle of winter at the height of one of Toronto's worst blizzards. Here in the beautiful summertime, however, we can see behind Roy Thompson Hall and on the beautiful lakefront the landmark of Toronto, the CN Tower which is the tallest freestanding tower in the world.
Joy in Music, we have brought you a program entitled A Musical Visit to Toronto with excerpts from a live concert held at St. James Cathedral with my special guests, the Cathedral Choir of Gentlemen and Boys under the direction of Dr. Giles Bryant. Oh, praise ye the Lord, praise Him in His sanctuary. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.